Of all the lessons which the earth continually teaches us, David writes, perhaps the most obvious and profound is that it alone among the worlds framed by the word of God is divinely crafted, sculpted, and engineered to sustain life. Now, I get a lot of news articles across my cell phone. I read way into the night. I start early in the morning. And every few days, oh, there's a new planet that's been discovered with the potential of life. Now, wait a minute. It is not simply a matter of chemistry. The cell itself, living organism, just the, the structure of the proteins in a cell, there are approximately 60, in the technical literature, 60,000 proteins in a hundred different, different specific configurations in the nucleus of a cell. Did you get that? 60,000 proteins, specific proteins, in a hundred different specific configurations. Has to be exactly right. Even if you had the DNA, which is impossible to get from nature, if you had the membrane of the cell, which is impossible to get from nature to osmotically permit nutrients to enter, but no contaminants, but to remove contaminants and no nutrients. Did you know that's happening in all 100 billion brain cells and the rest of the cells of the body, 100 trillion cells we have in our bodies? That's happening just, just like that, around the clock. What's that? Uh, it's coming out. Okay, okay. You know how to keep an audience. You know how to keep an audience awake. <laughs> All right. So even if you have the DNA, even if you have the cell member, impossible to get from nature. What is the chance? Now, watch closely. If you don't have all of this nucleus and all of these proteins in place, functioning simultaneously, it begins to biodegrade, and in a matter of minutes, you're dead. Just in a matter of minutes. It has to be functioning totally. What is the chance, what's the chance that all 60,000 of those specific proteins in 100 different specific configurations could assemble naturally by evolution? I used to be an evolutionist. And like one of our men said, it takes a lot of faith to be an evolutionist against all of this, these data. What is the chance that those 60,000 proteins and 100 different specific configurations could self-conform one chance in 10 to the 4,478,296 power. Did you get that? That's from the technical literature. One chance. You've got to do it right now. You've got to do it quick before I finish this sentence. Otherwise, it's never going to happen. One chance in 10 to the 4 million 478,296 power. Anything beyond one chance in 10 to the 50th power has zero chance of occurring. You know what I'm trying to say to you? That old book describes how we got here. Evolution is impossible.